How would you introduce a car that really doesn't need an introduction? Probably let it speak for itself. Now even among supercars, Lamborghini has the reputation for extreme design and extreme performance. The Aventador? It takes that reputation to a technological conclusion and to a zenith. The Aventador is a two-seater with scissor doors, extreme performance, and it's anything but practical. On the other hand, it's one of the few cars in the world that can reach over 215 miles an hour while also getting you to a date and to dinner in cutting edge style. The body is a crescendo of angles and intakes and the construction is quite special because it's built around a carbon fiber monocoque. Underneath it uses racing style push rod inboard dampers and springs. It almost looks more jet fighter than it does street legal. The heart of the Aventador is a 6.5 liter V12 with 700 horsepower. The power peak is at 8,250 RPM and zero to 60 happens in 2.9 seconds. To go with the extreme speed, extreme carbon ceramic brakes. If you can dream it, the chances are that Lamborghini will personalize your Aventador any way you like. The Aventador's cabin has room for only two moderately sized passengers, and aside from a small cargo space in the nose, there's no other storage space. It's not quite cramped, but it's the next best thing to it. The scissor doors aren't the easiest things to get into, but you know what? We're willing to overlook that because it's time to get in for a drive. It takes a minute to learn the start sequence for an Aventador, but once you know it, it's one of the coolest things you'll ever do. A flick of the paddle shifters and we're off, out to explore the canyon roads near Pebble Beach. Now despite its high revving stats, the Aventador's engine is pretty tractable around town. It really only opens up its bark and its bite when you prod it. The transmission, on the other hand, it's a little jerkier than we expect in a $400,000 supercar. Not that it gets in the way. All afternoon, time and time again, we find the Aventador is engaging. It's fun to drive even at legal speeds, and some speeds that might exceed that a little bit. That's not an area where 200 mile an hour supercars always feel good. Usually they feel a little leaden, a little reluctant. The Aventador, when you drive it with spirit, it really wakes up. Of course, with all that massive horsepower available, and with a high price tag, you really don't want to disable all of the electronic nannies that can save you. And the good thing is, you don't ever have to on the street. It's plenty fast whether you're in Strata or Sport Mode. Corsa, you're going to want to reserve that for the track. So the bottom line for the Lamborghini Aventador, it's not a practical choice, but for the billionaire with a hankering for speed, high technology, and extreme Italian style, there may be nothing better. <laughs>